Coralize. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Body Bags. It's week 165, and I'm your Sunday host, Steve Bougie86, here again. Yes, I am back. Now, the film I got for you guys today is a film from 1997, and it seems fitting to this film actually does start on Halloween since tomorrow is Halloween. So I kind of threw in a, like a little Halloween themed into this uh, week just for that. Because I know uh, I'll get more into that after my review. But decided to like, give you like a little taste of Halloween anyways. Because not all of this film does take place on Halloween. And that of course is Larry Fezzedin's Habit which I actually own part of uh, the Larry Pheasant collection, which is a very awesome set, I might add. Now, if you don't know about this film, Larry Pheasant not only directs and writes and edits and produces this film, he also is the main star of this film, which is very interesting because he doesn't really star in a lot of his own films. He stars in a lot of films that he produced and... Uh, other films like his production company's Glass Eye Pick. So you'll see him in like a bunch of those like films. Like he, I know he was in Stakeland in like a little cameo role, I Bury the Dead. He stars in a lot of uh, interesting films. Like he is known also for his acting. He's actually a very terrific actor, in my opinion, anyways. And I know he does have like a small role in The Last Winter, which he also directed, but he's like the main featured star of uh, Habit. Which is very interesting. I'll get more into that in my final thoughts of the film. Now, we're introduced to Larry Fezzedin's character of Sam, who, when we first meet him, we find out like a little bit about him. Like, uh, his father has just passed away. His uh, relationship with his ex, Liza, is on the rocks. They're not together anymore. He's a very broken person when we first meet him. And he's end up, this film actually starts out on Halloween. He's actually going to his friend Nick's Halloween party. And there he meets Anna, who is a very mysterious woman. She's not really even in costume because it is a costume party. So it is kind of weird when we first meet her. Uh, very beautiful and very mysterious Anna is. And they hit it off, but uh, what ends up happening is she ends up uh, disappearing. And we get more into Sam's backstory and stuff. And then they reconnect again and they end up starting this relationship. But once this relationship starts, it ends up getting weird. And we find out that Sam is actually, uh, something's happened to him while he's with Anna. It's like he's transforming and becoming like addicted to her kind of. So one thing leads to another and Sam suspects that Anna is more than she really is. And that is all I'm going to give away with the plot of this film. Now, this film is a very interesting like uh, subject matter because uh, Larry Fezzedin, as an actor in this film, is very autobiographical because of his uh, past. And he talks about like in uh, the commentaries and the making of this about his alcoholism. And this is like his form of like, expressing himself about addiction and alcoholism and like just any kind of addiction in general like heroin or drugs or even love in this matter of fact the way this film is represented and it's a very interesting way because he pretty much takes like a vampire story and mixes it with a addiction story and there's a few other films that have done this like during this time period also like Abel Ferrell is the addiction and a few other films that actually do actually take place in this New York type setting also, which is ironic. But unlike Ferreira's, like, uh, The Addiction, this one takes place in color, and it has, like, this great, tingy, like, great atmosphere and great atmospheric shots, and it's really well done and extreme in the way the elegance of the shots and the music that goes along. And I gotta say, Larry Fezzedin in this film as an actor is brilliant is probably one of the, the best performances I ever seen from him, to be honest. It's just a mesmerizing and great role for anybody to take, not only a director or an actor for that jet matter. And it's just a very elegant role that really eases and transforms as the film progresses. And I really do enjoy Meredith Stander as Anna. She's a very compelling character who 
has like this gleeful charm to her character in the beginning of the film and throughout it till like the very end of the film because she does have like this mysterious look to her and the character and the way she acts interacts with Sam's character is really elegant and beautiful to look at and there's like a lot of mesmerizing things about this film because as you can tell by the way I'm describing this film this isn't your like typical horror film it's not like spoon fit to you as a horror film it's more like a like a journey and the way uh Fezzedin does this he disguises like a film about addiction and love and pain and suffering through like this elegance of like this vampiric like tale and it's very elegant and beautiful because a lot of uh, different types of uh, things that comes out and it's a new spin on like old genre and stuff and it's very elegant with this great shots and atmosphere and it has a lot of great like imagery too like daytime shots nighttime shots it's just a beautiful looking film there's really nothing i have a problem with this film it's to me this is a perfect sample of great filmmaking and great acting at its finest so if you can guess by my expression and the way i enjoy this film i'm giving habit a solid 10 out of 10 it's just a fucking absolute brilliant film and it's one of my favorite first time watches experiences of this year and i'm glad i got to review it for you guys today so if you haven't seen habit i know there is a dvd release of it i'm not really sure uh if it's out of print or anything but if you enjoy larry fezzenden i def recommend you grab like this set because all his films are pretty solid or even like interesting watches to say the least and habit is worth it alone in my opinion so 10 out of 10 for habit fucking awesome treat an amazing film all right guys that's it for this review today and as always we'll be back next week if you didn't know already we're actually doing Australian Horror Week next week, yes. So starting on Halloween, we're going to be seeing uh, our homeboy W Doubles doing the first review for Australian Horror. And I know pretty much it's everyone's review, so uh, what they're reviewing. So it's going to be a very interesting week because there is some interesting choices, to say the least, for uh, the subject. Because I'm a big fan of like Australian films in general. So really interesting to see what everyone chooses and i hope you enjoyed that week and i hope you're enjoying this week guys and as always happy halloween and thank you for watching body bags i'll see you then peace out